Let me guess, you're not interested in those cheapo pleb motherboards, no no no, you want the good stuff. You're after a Z690 board that costs way more but offers barely any benefits. Wow don't worry because MSI comes to the rescue with the MSI Z690 Carbon. Another board that will right now set you back over $373. That is a lot compared to the more reasonable MSI alternatives such as the Tomahawk or Edge variants, not to mention all the other great mode boards from other vendors. So what exactly can this board do differently to make it worth that much? Well, let's talk about it, shall we? Starting off with CPU power, here it already has its first win over the cheaper brothers and sisters in MSI lineup, as this mobile supports 18 plus 1 plus 1 power phases, while the Tomahawk and Edge both have only 16. And all three boards come with two 8 pins for providing your CPU with all that delicious electrical juice. So that's right, so that's right, for over $100 more, you get two more power phases. So you, you are so lucky, aren't you? So while that is cool and all, especially if you want to push your 1200K and your 1200K S to its limits, and by the way, if you can afford that kind of motherboard, you can probably afford that kind of high-end CPU as well. But unless you're an extreme overclocker, and I really mean extreme, then you really won't notice a difference from those two additional power phases. And if you are an extreme overclocker, well, you're gonna go for a better overclocking board anyway. So while it is a cool thing MSI can put in a marketing material, most people simply will not notice the difference. Now moving slightly to the right hand side of the board, let's talk about the memory situation. Another key benefit of the carbon compared to some cheaper alternatives is its overclocking capability when it comes to memory because its highest officially supported speed is 6666 megahertz for DDR5 and DDR5 only. Yeah, that is right, there is no DDR4 alternative of this board at all. So if you're hoping to reuse your old DDR4-6 with this motherboard, board, then I guess you're SOL, loser. Though again, if you can afford this kind of board, you can probably also afford the exorbitant pricing they're charging right now for DDR5 memory. Moving down to PCIe expandability, here things are looking pretty decent as well. You have three 16x slots, which is pretty standard, with two being PCIe Gen 5, but you also get a whopping five M.2 slots as well. That's going to be more than enough for all of your games and whatever weird other files you may be storing on your PC that I really don't want to know about. That is one more than both the Edge and Tomahawk, though you are sacrificing a PCIe 1X slot because, you know, you gotta make some space on this motherboard somehow. Finally, moving on to rear I.O., here you get another upgrade, as you're now up to 9 USB Type A ports on this motherboard compared to the 7 on the Edge and Tomahawk. That is actually pretty insane, except for the fact that if you just want a motherboard with a lot of USB Type A, then you can just go for a cheaper Gigabyte model. Alongside that, you have both DisplayPort and HDMI for onboard graphics, though again, I can't imagine too many people will be able to afford one of these motherboards, but not a graphics card. Alongside that, you have a lightning fast USB Type C port, 2.5 gig Ethernet, Wi Fi 6E, and all five audio jacks alongside optical spidiff all running off the Realtek ALC4080. So that's all actually pretty good stuff, right? Is it actually worth over $100 more than the Edge of Tomahawk? <laughs> no. This motherboard just really doesn't have anything going for it to justify the price, and the small improvements it does do are simply not gonna be worth an extra $100. Though at the same time, if you had a kind of money, well probably you don't care anyway. And if you really care about these features that this motherboard offers, hey, I guess it could be worse. It may not be great value, but at least you get the things that you actually care about. But one thing that is a great value is our Patreon, because for even just one single dollar a month, you get awesome perks while we are able to make even better videos. I'd also like to thank my extinct patrons Gavin Burns, Brian, Eki B, Meg Sumner, Shane Oakcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so so much, your support truly goes a long way. If you want to buy this motherboard for some reason, or pretty much anything else on Amazon, then our Amazon links are going to be down in the video description below. Down you're also going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.